Hey, people. I'm going to start this out with a couple things I just scrolled past on Facebook. This is a 1880 painting of sin. And the old father's, he's stuck on the other side of the gate getting sin. And Hector asks, why was they separated by a gate? So back in the day, you know, everybody wanted to go to the Catholic school. Everybody knew, all the high school kids knew that all the freakiest parties happened at the Catholic schools. And so all your freaks went there. And so what the gate represents is, is you know, she's sin and she's calling him father. And so that represents the daughter. And you see that in the Greek, you know, the daughter is to, as in thu, through the gator. And to fill all in, why annoy he to gator? You know, to is where the package goes to, through, you know, is passing through everything else and going to the gator. Appear the fume. Appear, you know, U-P-E-R, and then the F-U, and then backwards, E-M-E. The fume, them, of cook. O, and then K-U-K. -K. The fume, them, of cook. The nights is it in. And through the gate up here, fume them of cook. The nights is it in. Move so it's at sea as. Move S O I T S so it S A T. So it's at S I O S C as. Move so I can see. And so the gate represented your daughter. You know, when you come home from a trip, you know, she was at the gate and she was the investigator. She was asking all the questions. And this was ancient Egyptian that the Greeks copied off the wall. And then I run into this picture here. I've seen this many times, but this is the first time I've seen this view of it. And from this view, it looks like a ghost town, you know, where they used to film movies. It's just a set. It appears to be made by the British Entertainment Company as a setting for the play they were putting on. And we don't understand this because we lost the technology of softening stone where this really wasn't as hard as it appeared. Then I run into this cool old picture of this old ice-breaking cruise ship and I got nothing on it. I just like this old picture. This is about the size of the boat I'm looking for when I hit the lottery. So I did a movie last week, and I talked about this. I have commanded you, they shall do. And this they shall do was, yes, sir. Yes, sir, I is a do. And it just got me thinking. And so I went back to look at it in the Greek. And so I put them side by side here to compare them. And, and just as I was suspecting, this word, yes, sir, has got the word Jesus in it. You know, these are the three spellings of Jesus. One with it, just S-O-U, S-O-U-N, and S-O-U-S. I-H-S-O-U-S is what you got here. I-H-S-O-U-S. N. And the I-H-S-O-U-S-I. But the word means a lot more than that. You know, this yes means yes, I will do it. You know, to make as, to make as to. You know, as you said it, I will make as to. Yes, sir. But this here means, uh, let me think about it. You know, this is the po itches of sin. And so the P.O. is the mouth, you know, itches, the po itches, the mouth itches of sin. And so they did a survey and they found out when people are trying to make up a story, they scratch their chin and it helps relieve congested brain cells makes new openings so they can think up a new story and so when somebody's trying to think up of a story or lie and you know their their mouth itches they scratch around their mouth so the po itches who's in who's in or who's sin thought is the hebrew word for sin time you see sin in hebrew bible it'll say thought and that's the sin, is just thinking is the sin. They don't want nobody thinking. And so when the mouth itches of sin, that means thought. The mouth itches of 
trying to make up a story, not telling the truth, you know. So it's not yes or uh, thinking about it. And so that's why you have this difference here is in they shall do is yes sir, yes sir, I'll do it, and they shall make up. They shall make up a story. The mouth itches of sin. And this comes from a base of an ancient medical word, per orally. You know, it's taken by mouth is what P.O. means, by mouth. You know, it's, it's where the word poet come from, you know, by mouth it. And so it's, you know, it, it by mouth is how you make your way. An old French poet coming from the, the Latin, the poet. And coming from the Greek, the poi, P-O-I-H-T-H-S. And so it's the, the po, the mouth itch this, is the creator, the maker. It means making up a story, the mouth itching. You know, the po, you, J-E, omega, to make the great circle of mouth. I make compose, you know, it's like, like you, you mouth. You may compose. You know that the treasury is the theosaurus, you know, and in and, and the theosaurus is the, the poetry. That's where they find words that rhyme, and that's their loot, that's their treasure. And in French, indicative of poer, alternative form of potter. You know that D can be read as a TH, you know, their mouth. The potter, the creator, come from there, T-H-E-I-R, P-O, their mouth. You know, alternative form of power. You know, the potiers, the, the, their mouth, the mouth theirs. Power, ability, capability. And it's going to start with this po in most every language. The po is the mouth, the face, power. So it's like this septum two code, you know, separate two, and put the last two at the end, and then it's I-H-T, itched, and then H-S, itched his po, itched his chin, itched his mouth, is a creator. So everybody got this word Jesus screwed up, and I was investigating this word Caesar, which is totally confused too, this Julius Caesar which is spelled many different ways when I had run into this and that what made me think about that and made me go back and search to see if that's what it said but yeah that was a guess from what I've learned from reading this and sure enough Jesus was in that word so before I get into that let me just tell y'all that t-shirts come in and so I had to go show it off and so if you haven't clicked on the t-shirt campaign yet Make sure you click on it, and uh, I don't give a damn if you buy a shirt or not. I don't make but $2 out of it anyway. But I want you to watch that movie that's connected with it, and it explains what this is all about. About On the back side, it says, I don't feed me that shit. I've done pick the figs. And if you watch that movie, it's a short one, and it explains what done pick the figs is all about. So when I was searching for Caesar, I ran up on this book, and it come from uh, 1614. This is the old Latin numerals, you know, 1,514. And so this is just three years after the King James Bible come out, and that's exactly what he's bitching about. And just reading this cover and and what they say about this book confirms all of my theories on the language. You can see here how this A, B is of, O, V, you know, of. And this word, Jesuit, you know, you see it here spelled just J-E-S-U. That's the same Latin word for Jesus. And so they're reading the T over here with it, the Jesuit. But I learned a whole bunch of stuff on this. And I'm going to get on that in the next movie. But if you're new to my movies, there's reading directions. So everything I got marked in the yellow here, that means it's going to give me a different reading direction. It's going to tell me to add letters. And and this here is going to tell me just replace it with the vav. And you can see it here, the key. 
is across from the Vav. They see means and. And the same here. And it doesn't need these other letters. Just a single Vav, they'll give it the key. And so you just replace it with the Vav, W, U, or V. And so where it here is, you know, it's a W, A, T, and then the line says read the A, T again. And so it's what, at, or, or what, to, and then the T reads over here, the tesum. And same here, what to, W-T-O, what to. And um, so this is a, a newer Greek, and this is the original Septuagint that has all the markings, and that's why I put them together so you can see the difference. Not a lot, just the markings changing the direction. And um, they left out a word here. They left the ego out that was in the Septuagint. They didn't put it in this other because it wouldn't fit their interpretation. Because in this interpretation, they're just reading straight through. And this po itches in. You see how they left the, the N off in the newer writing. So I'm going to start with this Hebrew. And like I said, this letter here means to read it W-A-T and then come back in the A-T again. And this letter, this hyphen here means to read the next word backwards and then forwards. And this P at the end, they say it tells what type of of reading of the poem or song but um, I'm pretty sure that means that it had a picture to go with the words and it'll change up through the Hebrew I think there's there's four different markings they could put near a P, a S or an R sometime you know sometimes it means the face and sometimes reverse sometimes it means a picture and sometimes a seal and then all these final letters, they have different meanings, three different ways. And the final M is always an S. And that's why they say it's always plural. And the final N pronounces as an M. And so if you want a final M on a word, you have to put an N on it. Because the M is always going to be an S. And then the final K, it has a marking and tells you whether it's pronounced as a K or a T. It starts with a little tongue twister here, and it's what a tessum memas she, what a tessum memas she, what tort father tessum is, left foods. You know, there's two, there's two F's here, L F F D S, left foods. If for the holy place, you leave food for them. And cacklers, the cacklers are the the roosters, the, the ones talking, the priests, and the, the cacklers, anything starts with the A reads backwards, act, it's backwards, A, K, T, K in this direction, the act to, A, K, T, I, W, the act to its wit, T, as to, cacklers, act to its witty, W, I, T, and then final K is a T here, T, I, uh, OS as to the act, act to its witty as to and so this tessum is this tessum mems he you know the the tessum members he and the the tort feather tessum is they uh they have several meanings and one of them is tortessum and so tortessum is an ancient name for Spain and it's uh was the this mythical land over here that was founded by Hercules you know these are the pillars of Hercules over here at the gate at the pass of Gibraltar where you're going into the Mediterranean you know the the pillars of Hercules beyond the pillars of Hercules is where he describes this land and the Tartessus had fallen out of use at the end of the millennium and we'll see that all in the next movie too. What that has to do with. And archaeological discoveries in the region have built up a picture of more widespread culture identified as Tartesian. Final N is an M, Tartesium. That includes some 97 inscriptions in a Tartesian language. So what a Tessum memas he? What tort of tortessum is? And then the L is of. 
of fetish. You know the S H F D S H a fetish cackler. There's three K's here. The dot gives it two K's. K K K L R of cackler sacked S A and then backwards. This is a K when it begins the le the word and it's a T when final. And so what cackler sack to T I W the sack to its you know X is T S and so this word they're getting sweet up here it's coming from this word down here S W I T T and a fetish the cackler sack to what the what they liken the cacklers sack to what they liken and collecting in the sack so I forgot to yell at this A here but this is also a, a directional mark it's the God letter and so you always read these words backwards and it's not ASR but it's RSA and, uh, and the dot up here lets me know it's a RSEA or RSHA so the, the cockler you know the cockle is the rooster the cocklers you know it's, it's male not to all but uh, the cock call KK cock Call, just the males a fetish of the cock call and then RS colors means a, a selection a call of and the colors act to and then X you know TS it's wit WIT and then tie as to and cacklers act to its wits tie as to its wits tie as to yes sir. so this bottom Greek here you know these read two different ways the bottom has no directional markings and everything just reads through straight and that's why they they adjust uh, some words and not a lot in here and it'll say something a little different than the other one but this is what of WT and then the O is of what of the lay on this cries those what of and then th is a d d u what of do maya ma and so maya is day one and so do one from do me ma do one from what of do me from this sundicios and so it lets you know the tortes are lets you know you're in spain and this is letting you know this in Spain too, because Sundicios is your wishes. What of do me from this sun wishes, Dicios? You know, sun, sun Dicios, sun wishes. And then two vagi of, two V-A-G-I, that's your old word for vagina. To the vagi of, O-V, to vagi of kata. According to Fantaosa, the fantasy, F A N T A, Fanta. Three word fantasy come from the Fanta and Osis. The O S and then the A is going with this E down here. A E is E S. So the Fant, the Fanta, and the O, the O is to see. You know the fantasies. And then the N E you replace it with a B, which is a V or a B or an N. It just means N. And so that's N tile. N T E I L Amen. Entilement. They're entitled. And what the fantasies entitlement say Po Jesus C. The mouth itches of C. And so you just take these first two and put them on the end and you can get it better you know it's the itches of cipher you know the itches of cipher to, to do the numbers you know you're itching your chin trying to figure out the numbers and then tile them in say the itches of cipher you know the mouth itches of C but I believe they just redid this and changed the language in order to to force a meaning over these older writings because they didn't want anybody reading this. They didn't want anybody to understand how to read it. But yeah, before this, when they were carving stone, everybody wrote forward and backwards, so they're used to 
to reading backwards in both languages. And so you can see this is where they're getting oil from, is this word backwards, this O-I-A-L. But it's not really oil. This is what annoy, O-N-O-Y, annoying, what call attention to, what annoy all the lay on that's, T-H-T-S. What annoy all the lay on that's cries those, X-C-H-R-I-S-E, T-H-E-O-S, those. What's cries those? What do do me from that sun desos, the sun wishes? And then it two, and then V, and then the mark has you grab the, the O, same as here, that's why I was reading it. The T twice, T-H, and then grab the T again, T-H-T-S. And so this is T-O-V-O. Sometimes by itself it means to come out, Toa, to come out. Sometimes you're blending that word and it's two V-O-A-G-I of Voga. Two Vega, two Vagi of Voyage. You know, Vagi, the Vagina. And this voge has everything to do with wave or water, a voyage, voge. But it's also the vagin, which is Libra. You know, Libra sits between Virgo and Scorpio, and it wasn't always there. It was just about, oh, 2,800 years ago, I think, that they added Libra. As the skies change, you know, it's, it's growing in that direction. And it's shrinking in the opposite end. So that's when they added Libra in there. And so it's the vagin. You know, it was the lower part of, of Virgo. And the sun wishes to vagi of Voyager. According to Fanta, Cata Fanta Oza. Cata Fanta. According to the Fanta as a suge. S-O-O-G-E. A suge. A suge is what you do with a sponge when you're sopping up water. And according to the Fanta, as a suge, as to suck, sop it up, sop it up, and then geo and backwards to gone em. gone, gone em all yet. And then this E N E here, the the N E is going to turn to a B or a V. Gone em all yet. And then read the E, V, and then the other way, it's another B. And so it's, it's yet of in, E, V, B, yet of in. And cut a Fanta as a suge, as the suck up, gone em all, yet of entilem in say. Po itches of sin. The mouth itches of sin. The mouth itches who's in. And so the mouth itches who's in, you know, this is the poet, the creator, you know, trying to create a word. And it's actually talking about how the poets created these writings to match up to what the heavens were doing. That's why they were having to scratch their head so hard, because they were trying to make poetry but actually code what's going on in the stars in here and so the one i gave charge you know he's the entitled man he's been entitled entitled man and the holy place you know that's the vagi either one of them the the vagi voyage to, to go down on it you know here the, the holy place was left foods and so there's some other codes in here and I'll get into it more when I do that movie on this book here and on Caesar. It's got a bunch of stuff in here. Don't forget. Hurry up, hurry up. I won't forget. Alright, I'm going to cut this off here. Good day. <laughs>